What's going on YouTube? It's Gary. Back again as always. And I'm coming to you real quick because I got a package in the mail this morning from an awesome YouTuber who just started making videos about a week, a week and a half ago. Um, and his name is Green Lantern 223 And he sent me an awesome package just out of the kindness of his heart, man, and I appreciate it so much. Um, he saw my um, Greatest of Collection video and saw that I really only had one um, Ghost Rider book. So he was like, yo, what's your address? I'm going to throw a couple more your way. Um, and he knows that I like Jason Aaron. So he was like, this is a couple from Jason Aaron's writing on, on um, Ghost Rider. So I'm going to throw them your way. So again, I gave him my address. And not only did he give me those books, but he also threw in some really, really great books. Um, so I'm going to share those with you. I'm going to share those with you. And, um, and I'm going to talk about a couple of things. And then I will get off here because I don't want to hold up too much of y'all's time. Uh, the first book that I saw in there was the first issue, Spectacular, um, and it's to celebrate the 50th anniversary of DC, and um, it is Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one, and I haven't read any of this 12-issue series, and I am so stoked to finally have number one, and now I really have no excuse not to go grab the other ones, and of course, everyone knows the huge <coughs> death that happens in this. Uh, like I said, I haven't read any of them, and I know it's a huge series, and I know um, Custom Brumstar has been doing videos on the Crisis um, books, so those have been really fun to watch, and I can't wait for his next one to be uploaded. I know he's really busy. Um, he, he shared his Sunday blog yesterday and a lot going on, but um, I really, really enjoyed it just because of all the positivity that he was talking about in the community, and you know how everyone, you know, it's, it's a family really, and... Um, it's really awesome, you know, this community is, has done so many things for so many people, and I really enjoy it, and I really appreciate all of you guys and gals, and um, I really, I'm interested to see what else comes of it, and um, so yeah, so I'm going to show off the books that he sent my way, and um, and yeah, I'm not just repeating myself. So that was the first book that he sent me, <clears throat> and um, these next ones are the Ghost Rider books that he sent me, and this is number 28. And it's a variant edition. Such an awesome cover. As I stand strong. I stand strong. Band in the background. Solidarity. I was really into them. 2006-2007. Really great hardcore band from Wyoming. Um, not that many bands come from Wyoming. But this band is really, really great. Uh, they broke up in like 2008. Um, the vocalist um, is a hairdresser. And he wanted to, um, you know, I guess, progress in that field. So they called it quits. But such a great band. Check them out. Solidarity. Um, number 27 of Ghost Rider. Another really awesome painted cover. Number 26. And number 25, all written by Jason Aaron. So I'm definitely going to have to get some more of these. <clears throat> I've just never really been in a Ghost Rider's um, character, but I don't know much about them. So I'll use this as a um, as some motivation to get into his character. Um, and then he sent me some amazing Spider-Man books. And I don't know if he went back and looked at, all the, at a lot of my um, videos or not, but... Somehow he he gave me all these issues, and they are ones that I don't already have. So either he watched really carefully and um, hooked me up with some issues, or just by coincidence, I don't have them. So I'm super stoked on getting these um, and filling in some of my holes in my um, Amazing Spider-Man run, which I have a lot of. Um, 383. Ah. 271, such an awesome cover. My you. 331. And I have every one in this run uh, with a Punisher except for this one. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, 257. And then 
242. 342, I'm sorry. With Black Cat. Awesome books, man. I really, really appreciate it. And then, he just had to make my day. He um, saw that I was starting to collect uh, Aquaman Silver Age books. And he sent me this. And I am super stoked to have it in my collection. So awesome. It is Aquaman number 35. And it is the first appearance of Black Manta. So, so, so stoked. To have this in my collection. So stoked. Um, so yeah. You guys really need to check out his his uh, his channel. I just started making videos not too long ago. He's up to six or seven. Um, he's trying to get... All the holes in his Amazing Spider-Man collection, as well as Green Lantern collection. Um, and he also does, you know, the weekly haul pickups. And he collects statues. Really, really great guy. Check him out. If you haven't already, Green Lantern 223. Um, and I also got another book in the mail today off eBay. It was $1.99. And I picked it up because um, an old friend of mine here on YouTube, um, once a while back, gave me the... Um, the trade of this, so I, I'm picking up in single issues now because I read it and I really, really liked it. And I saw this on eBay for $1.99, so I was like, fuck, man, why not just go ahead and grab number one of it? And it is uh, Batman Gotham After Midnight. Such an awesome story, so I had to pick up. I'm going to pick up all 12 issues of this. And of course, it's written by one of my favorites, Steve Niles. Such an amazing writer, one of my favorite uh, modern writers, I guess you could call him. So awesome. He just wrote, um, what did he just write? Lot 13 in DC. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I highly suggest you do so. He's written a lot of stuff, but that's one of his more recent writings. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Like I said, Green Lantern, I appreciate it so much, man. Um, if you guys haven't, please check out his video. Um... And either today or tomorrow before I go to work, I am planning on doing um, Spyro.Geeks um, hashtag video, uh, which is when you, you show off your five favorite covers. I'm probably just going to be doing my five um, favorite covers of the last six months or so because I just packed away most of my back issues and it would be hard for me to get to them since I'm moving on the first. So I'm going to pick out five of my favorite um, <clears throat> more recent comic book covers and show those. And also I'm going to be doing a review on the Swamp Thing, uh, new DC 52, 1 through 18, all of Scott Snyder's run. Um, he just finished up. And so, um, thanks to Harry Monster 666 If you guys haven't checked him out, I'll post his link down below as well. Um, please, I'm going to post all three of these guys, Spyro.Geek, um, Green Lantern 223, and Harry Monster 666 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post their links down below please check these three guys out please give them all subs they're all really great guys um, Spyro is doing a lot for the community right now just trying to get everyone's name out there um, new guys old guys everybody and just trying to get everybody on the same page um, he has also put together a Wikipedia site with a lot of people's names on them um, so I really appreciate you doing that and um, I really hope you all enjoyed the video but like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, two more videos coming up in the next couple of days. Um, my five favorite comic book covers and uh, the Swamp Thing uh, 1 through 18 review. And um, the reason I'm doing that, the reason I really, I'm really getting back into I read issues 1 through 10 and then I stopped reading Swamp Thing. I kept collecting all the single issues that were coming out every month, but I just I wasn't reading it. Um, I fell behind, and then once I fell behind, I just had lack of motivation to read them. But um, after watching Harry Monster 666's video, um, reviewing number 18, it was like, damn, man, I really need to go back and read all the issues back to back, and now I'm going to do a review on them. Um, I'm up to number 11 right now. I'm hoping by the end of tonight I can finish it up and wrap it up and do a review on it tomorrow for you guys um, that haven't been reading it. So that's about it for this video. Um, I hope everyone's having an awesome Monday. It is Monday, but 
it is what it is. Uh, two more days until Comic Book Wednesday, and uh, I'll be chatting with y'all. Don't be afraid to PM me. Hit me up on MySpace. Oh, ooh, MySpace. Damn. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. I do have a new Twitter um, designated just for comic books and, you know, talking to um, writers and artists, talking to you guys here on the community. So follow me on that. Mongo Stomp Time. Just drop the 07. Just Mongo Stomp Time. Um, and, yeah, I'll be talking with y'all. Till next time. Later.